Hi, there are six A's that I believe should be evident in every relationship and family life. Today, I'd like to share them with you. Number one is attention. Pay attention to your spouse or your significant other. This is so critical. Do not allow things like work, technology, your friends, or even your children to take your focus off your spouse. Take the time to connect with them. Take the time for intimacy. Take the time to know about the details of their lives. No matter how busy you are and whatever you do, do not let your spouse feel like an afterthought or a burden. Two, affection. Affection is like food for the soul and food for the body. It makes such a huge difference. Do not let a day go by without kissing your spouse, touching your spouse, hugging your spouse, and much more. Affection is so critical in any relationship that will flourish. You may not be the affectionate type, make yourself the affectionate type, particularly when you know that it means a lot to your spouse. Ensure that there are frequent doses of affection and watch your relationship flourish. Three, affirm, affirm, and affirm your spouse. Affirmation means giving emotional support or encouragement. There's no husband or wife who does not like to be affirmed by their spouse. Let your spouse know that you are there for them. And as I often like to say, ensure that your words and actions build up and never tear down. Keep your relationship nourished with positive affirmation. Give your spouse all the help, all the support, all the encouragement they need. Number four, appreciate, appreciate, and appreciate some more. We all like to be appreciated. I know I do, particularly when it comes from my husband. Don't get so used to your spouse that you throw appreciation out of the window. Let them know that you are thankful for the things that they do. Don't be one of those spouses who say, no, they already know that I appreciate them. It makes a huge difference when you actually say it. Appreciation also makes a person go further for you, and it also boosts confidence. Listen, appreciation is literally one of the best medicines you can ever give to your relationship. Five, apologies, apologies, and apologies. This one is a tough one for many of us out there. There are times when you will offend in your relationship, and you must be ready to apologize freely and willingly. If you really want the best out of your relationship, it's just something you have to do. This requires letting go of pride and selfishness. Don't be the kind of man or woman who has to be begged or coerced to apologize to your significant other. That alone can be draining. And also let me say this, I've said it before, do not be a repeat offender. Learn to manage your emotions and your actions well. If you make yourself a chronic offender who always has to apologize every other day, your apologies will soon carry no weight. And once that happens, you know that big trouble is brewing. Finally, number six, be accepting of each other. No matter how alike you are, there will be differences. Do not allow those differences to separate you. Learn to accept your spouse exactly as they are. If you do desire some changes in them, there's a right way to go about it. Talk to them respectfully. Talk to them with a lot of wisdom. There's a right way to approach a person in order to get a positive response. And please be open-minded. Sometimes differences actually do help a relationship. So did you get that? In no particular order, I did say affection, attention, appreciation, affirmation, apologies, and acceptance. If and when we actually apply these tips, the difference will be clear in our homes. Whatever you do, do not allow any issues between you to linger. Resolve them speedily so that you can truly enjoy your relationship, your marriage, and your family life. If your relationship is suffering any kind of strain at this point, please ensure that you prayerfully seek godly counsel, and I trust God to send you the answers that you need. As always, I do wish you God's best in your marriage and family life. God bless you.